everybody, I'm finally back. Do you really hear? And yes, I finally heard back from Front Wing that, uh, they're fine with any videos as far as I want to go, as long as, uh, I'm actually adding something onto the game. You know, you know, we're not just supposed to record the game and put it up. We're supposed to do commentary, uh, and mine are perfectly fine because I'm reading the whole thing. So, yep, I officially have the okay. So, here we go, finally, picking up from where I had left off. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. As I was hanging around in front of the station, I spotted a familiar face. I'd sure been running into her a lot today. Though, it looked like she hadn't noticed me yet. Usually, I just ignore her and go back to doing my thing, but... Oh, is she going inside that apartment building from the other day again? Takashima-san vanished inside the apartment building where I saw her before. The place she was going had to be... Takashima-san lives in that apartment building? I had a lot of time to kill, so I succumbed to my curiosity and followed her. A lot of time to kill this late at night? Well, I don't know how late it is, but it's dark. The elevator started moving as soon as I set foot inside the apartment complex. The blinking numbers above it indicated that she was headed for the rooftop. She's going to the rooftop again. Maybe she doesn't live here after all. When the elevator came back down, I headed in and pressed the button to take me to the rooftop. This was where she was hanging out the other day. There she was, standing in that spot, as if it were the most natural thing in the world. Oh, I thought you'd be here. What are you doing up here? Good evening, Minakami-san. Uh, good evening. Same to you. What brings you here? Well, I happened to see you come this way. I was a bit worried considering what happened the other day, so I ended up following you. Oh, so you were worried? Well, sorry if I disturbed you. I can go if you want. That isn't true at all. By all means, feel free to keep me company. Are you sure? The same stuffed doll I'd seen yesterday was lying at her feet. Were you going to drop that off the roof again? Oh, yes. Do you not like that doll or something? That's not it. In fact, I love it. It's very precious to me. I guess we'll find out why sooner or later. And yet you drop it from the rooftop? Yes, this is something I have to do. You have to? And what's up with that? Yes. After giving a half-hearted reply, she looked upward. Is there some reason why you have to drop it? Because of... the sky, perhaps. The sky? Indeed, the sky was spread wide before her. It wasn't like there were people up there, and there didn't seem to be any birds either. Up there in the sky were only the stars and the darkness of the night. Takashima-san nodded yes to my question. So, what does the sky have to do with it? I'm searching for a place in the sky. That's what I mean. Searching for a place in the sky? Yes. What do you think, Minakami-san? About what? The beginning and end of the sky. The beginning and end of the sky? Yes. Well... It doesn't really have either one, does it? It doesn't really matter where it begins or ends. I see. I think you're right. Still, despite that, I have to search. You still have to search? Yes. The place where it ends and the place where it begins. I have to search for them. Um, is that what you're doing here? Well, that means you've been searching for these places in the sky? Yes. Uh, so, are you like, one of those? Those what? One of those people who sell jars of, like, water that's blessed by the church founder. Are you involved in stuff like that? No, there's nothing religious about it. But what I'm doing isn't related to religion in the first place. R really? Then it's some sort of metaphor? It isn't a metaphor either. So, so then. Aerodynamics. Huh? What? Was she, like, 
Researching aerodynamics by dropping these dolls? What could you figure out by dropping dolls off a building? Nothing, right? The city we see from here is overflowing with words. The words of many different people. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, there are lots of people there. But the sky isn't overflowing with words. There are no words in this sky. No words? I couldn't tell if it was some kind of metaphor, or if she was serious. In this world, there is a lone girl. Okay, a lone girl? Yes, in this world there is one singular girl. No, there is a girl who is the world itself. A girl who is the world itself? There is only one girl, and she must be the only one. Because she is the world itself. And more importantly... More importantly? That girl... Cannot be here. Hold on, isn't that weird? That she can't be here when she's the world itself. I don't understand what you're trying to say. The world itself cannot be in the world. You don't understand. The girl who is the world itself should never have been in this world in the first place. That's all I mean to say. So she whispered as she gazed at the stars. The triangle that shines in the summer sky is much larger in person than I had imagined. It's a triangle so large that it even encompasses the Milky Way. Um, does this have anything to do with what you said earlier? The fact that an infinite line is a triangle. Huh? What? Are you not familiar with it? No, actually, I did know that. I'd heard about it. Well, read about it. I was pretty sure the title of the book was Of Learned Ignorance, and the author was Nicholas Cousinus. Right, the theologian. Oh, I'm surprised you know about him. You must be into stuff like that. Since a line and a triangle differ incomparably, the imagination which does not transcend the genius of perceptible things, does not comprehend that the former can be the latter. That theologian's book is often considered the start of modern philosophy. A triangle is a circle and a sphere. In other words, a triangle is all shapes, and all of them can be infinite. Well, he tried to use that to prove the Holy Trinity. Don't you agree it's a strained interpretation? Huh? What he proved had nothing to do with God. The Trinity is completely unrelated to the Triangle. Er, uh, why do you assume that's what I think? Am I wrong? Uh... She wasn't wrong. I remembered thinking that as I read his book. But how did she... Well, she is the mysterious girl. She must have some mysterious powers. Um, why do you know about all this stuff? Wait, more importantly... Why are you acting like you know what I'm thinking? Because she probably does. You think I'm acting like I know? Well, it's common sense that you can't read someone else's mind, you know? I can't read someone else's mind. Is that right? Well, how should I put it? You can't share another person's memories, right? No, I can. How? Because the girl is the world itself. So you're the world? Are you being naughty by being down here? Huh? Er, just what is she saying? Maybe she really is one of those unstable people. Claiming to be the world itself. Is she talking about the anime? Suzumiya something or other? The girl who is the world itself shouldn't be in the world. She should return to the girl who's waiting in the sky. Um, just to clarify, who's waiting in the sky? The girl she must protect. The girl she swore to protect. She's somewhere in the sky. The girl who is the world itself must return to the girl in the sky. Um, this girl who is the world itself is searching for the girl in the sky? Yes. Is that the reason you were dropping stuffed dolls? Yes. Takashima-san approached the fence, carrying two stuffed dolls. She held the dolls out toward the sky. The girl who is the world itself is right here. So answer my call. You who sprouts wings. 
The girl has brought some wings. Is she like an angel or something? Pretty sure there was an anime like that. Or was it a game? Actually, there's probably millions of both. There's a girl who sprouts some wings. She's waiting in the air. Well, I don't know a whole lot about anime. Clearly! To the infinite triangle shining in the sky. You, whose vastness engulfs even the galaxy itself. Please listen to the girl's words. As she murmured that, she threw the doll. The doll hovered in the air for just the slightest moment, then descended, and then fell to the ground. Oh, of course. It fell. Is that the same thing you did last time? It looked similar, but it was different. For some reason, she looked a little sad as she said that. She picked up the next doll and held it out to the sky. Three stars, three spirits. A triangle is a circle, a sphere, and finally, an infinite line. An infinite line is absolute. Everything is one, and one is everything. Please guide that spirit. The next doll floated, and then fell straight down. Huh, it fell. Um, you've heard of physics, right? You know, in this world, we have this thing called gravity... <laughs> the aerodynamics pioneer. A small Eiffel stands underneath that tower. What the hell? It's a charm of aerodynamics. Aerodynamics? Uh, that's kind of like fluid dynamics, right? Not exactly. Aerodynamics is more of a psychological type of dynamics. <laughs> a psychological type of dynamics, is it? She was definitely talking about some occult stuff, right? She headed downstairs to fetch the dolls. I hesitated for a second to go along with her, but my curiosity won out and I ended up following her. Hmm. Huh. Takashima was brushing the dirt off the dolls. Hey, can I ask you something? Yes. And if the girl who is the world itself were to disappear from the world, then what would happen to the world? The world would be reborn. Uh, oh... Really? Her explanation just kept getting more suspicious. And exactly what would the world being reborn entail? Is it like, you're dropping the dolls because the world's reform isn't correct? And you want to return it to its correct form? What gave you that impression? Uh, well, there's the whole freedom of religion thing, so it's cool if you believe all that, but... But, what's wrong? You should stop climbing over the fence and dropping dolls off. It's dangerous, and people will think you're crazy. I see. Still, if something like that did happen, it would just be the fate the world had decided for me. It would be the will of the girl who is the world itself. Damn. The only thing I got from that mess was the fact that I had no idea what the hell she was saying. Huh. <sighs> um, I get the part about not wanting the world to be filled with injustice, and about wanting to change it, but... Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, well, I thought that you were doing all this to fix the evils of the world. No, it isn't about good or evil. It's just something I must do. Wow, she was clearly a full-blown religious nut. So, what needs to be done for the world girl to be able to return to the girl of the sky? World girl? Huh? What about it? Oh, I just thought it had a cool ring to it. What the hell? <laughs> the moment the summer triangle becomes visible. It's July right now, so the summer triangle stays out for quite a while. Today's the 13th, so it'll rise in the east when the sun goes down, and then it will vanish into the west at dawn. Do you know the exact time it comes out? I don't. That's why I'm trying different times. I see. So, it has to be on a day when there's a clear view of the stars, then. That's true. By the way, why are you using this apartment rooftop anyway? There were plenty of other tall buildings. It's easy to get into this one, and there aren't many buildings around that would obstruct the view. So, it's convenient. Oh, 
So if you can get in, then pretty much anywhere will do. Yes, as long as you can see the stars well. Cool. Also, why are you dropping these stuffed dolls? <laughs> For the millionth time? Anything that looks humanoid would work, but it's more dangerous to drop normal dolls or mannequins. Well, that makes sense. Stuffed dolls are better because they're soft. The clearer the view of the sky, the easier it was to spot the summer triangle. Oh, yeah. It's almost summer break, huh? There's about a week left, though. The sky searching seems kind of like early summer homework, doesn't it? Yeah. I wondered why I felt like that. Usually, I'd want to get away from such a crazy person as quickly as possible. And yet, my mouth seemed compelled to respond. I guess I'll help you search for it. That place where the world girl meets the girl of the sky or whatever. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Takashima-san bowed deeply. She didn't need to be so thankful, was what I thought. But I was still a little unsure why I blurted that out in the first place. But spending a summer night with her, gazing at the stars, looking for the world girl and the girl of the sky she talked about, actually seemed... kind of fun. Despite knowing full well that nothing like that existed, I couldn't help but think it might be fun. Then we headed home. For some reason, Takashima-san and I never parted ways. She followed behind me silently. Maybe she was following me to make sure I didn't tell anyone about what happened earlier. Though, it wasn't the easiest topic to bring up in conversation. So, Takashima-san. Yes? I won't tell anyone about this. Huh? I mean, about what you told me. Oh, I don't really mind if you tell anyone about it. I don't think anyone would believe such a ridiculous story. Uh, okay? At least she was aware that what she said was weird. But I wondered why she told me. Why did you tell me all that then? Anything the girl in the world itself desires will come true. So it was inevitable that I would tell you. Wow, what a weirdo. We were still talking when we reached my house. For some reason, Zakuro just stood in front of my house. Maybe she was hoping I would invite her in? Um, you want to come in for a little bit? Yes, please. What do you want to drink? Is tea fine? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you very much. Make yourself at home? I fetched a plastic bottle with tea from the fridge and poured it into two nearby cups. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Sorry about all this. No problem. The two of us sat down and started having tea. Anyway, it's pretty late. Don't you think your parents are worried? Or are you talking about me? Uh, what, does she not have parents? Well, I'm not sure who else I'd be talking about. Oh, in that case, there's no problem. I have no parents in this world. Huh? In this world? Well, that means... Uh, um... I guess I said something I shouldn't have. Sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. What happened to your parents? Did they get in an accident or something? It wasn't an accident, but I can't see them right now. Oh, oh really? Yes, they live in the countryside. Huh? Wait, that's what you meant? Yes. I'd misunderstood her because she said, in this world. In her case, it was actually more like, in this town. She really is a weird girl. I wouldn't bet on that. It could actually be an alternate dimension that her parents are in. Well, either way, you still need to get back, right? She took a deep breath and stared at me with a serious look on her face. Don't tell me she has no place to go. I'm fully aware that I shall only be a disturbance. But could you please let me stay here until she returns to the sky? Huh? Of course, I don't intend on being a leech. I'll do my best to serve you and take care of all your everyday necessities, such as cooking, cleaning, and laundry. Serve me? Please, feel free to call me your maid, housekeeper, or anything you want from now on, Yuki-sama. Yuki-sama? Yes, may I call you that? From the look on her face, 
It didn't seem like she was joking. Uh, Yuki-sama would just be kind of weird and there would be many misunderstandings, I'm sure. Uh, how was I supposed to deal with a situation like this? Since it's an abrupt request, how about a trial period? A trial period? Yes, if my service is to your liking, we can live together. If not, I shall leave immediately. Would that be acceptable? Uh, okay. Hmm, I didn't really mind, but... I had a room for at least one person to stay. And she did say she'd do housework and stuff. Though I didn't really mind doing housework anyway. It might be more efficient to live together while searching for the place to return to the sky. And I was starting to like her a bit more anyway. Hmm. Whoa, wh why are you suddenly rolling up your skirt? Takashima-san was baring her soft, pale thighs. Well, I thought I'd get started on the bath. I'll be cleaning the tub a little, and I need to tie up my skirt so it won't get in the way. Uh, oh, okay. It's hard to do with a long skirt. W well yeah, I suppose it would be. What was I doing? Each time Takashima's thigh showed from behind her rolled up skirt, I ended up stealing a glance. What the hell is wrong with me? Can't you lend her some of your clothes, Yuki? This made no sense. I mean, I'm a girl, not a guy. So I was eye peeking at her thighs. This is a pain. Maybe I should just take it off. She put her hand on the zipper. What? It, you're taking it off? Oh, yes. Should I not? Uh, huh? Well, we were both girls, so it wasn't like it really mattered. Or, so I thought. Here we go. She started to unzip her skirt. I could see her underwear. Er, wait. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> ah! I jumped in surprise when I suddenly heard an angry voice behind me. I turned in the direction of the angry roar and saw Kagami towering over me. Y you came in through the window again? Well, that's rude. Th that's because you were making so much noise in the middle of the night. It's not really the middle of the night. You only think that because of your unhealthy lifestyle. This is the middle of the night for normal people. Oh, Kagami-san. Good evening. Takashima-san quickly bowed her head. Oh, you too. Good evening. Kagami-san bowed her head as well. Actually, wait a minute. What is she doing here? Huh? Yes, I'm serving my master. Ah, they should have gotten that straightened out earlier. I told you it would be weird to have her call me master. Serving your master? Yes. Why would you do that? It's our sealed fate. Sealed fate? Say, say, Yuki. Huh? What do I have to do with this? I could almost hear the cheap thunder SFX playing in the background. I don't know, it looks more like uh, steam coming off her like she's about to blow up. What? What is this about? Uh, why are you so angry? For, for the record, we're both girls. Even if you are both girls, what's this about sealed fate and serving? There's more to this story, isn't there? Well, if you want to play it that way, it's also pretty strange how you're getting so upset over something like this. Ah! Uh. Kagami swung her fist downward with enough force to break the desk in two. It, it's not! I'm your childhood friend! Besides, Tsukasa and I were asked to look out for you while your parents are away. R really? Yes, that's right. We were definitely told to look after you. Er, Tsukasa? You came in the window too? It sounded kind of loud over here, so we came by. So, they really did tell you to look after me. Is this my little girl harem? Anyway, may we please return to the previous topic? What topic? The one we were talking about before. And that was? Anyway, first, I shall not allow you to exercise violence against Yuki-sama. Huh? Huh? Right. I am Yuki-sama's housekeeper. A housekeeper is someone who protects the house. In other words, I am one who protects the owner from intruders. Intruders? Is that so? I felt a dangerous aura emanating from Kagami. Not good. 
That was like adding oil to the fire. Or maybe more like giving love plus to a wizard. In other words, it was like an eternally broiling heart. Er, that wasn't quite right either. It was more like a heart burning with moe. No, that's only relevant. This isn't the time to be making bad jokes. Takashima-san, are you trying to tell me I'm an intruder? Yes. What? At the very least, I can't think of someone who ignores Yuki-sama's explanation and resorts straight to violence as anything other than an enemy. No, not just an enemy. It shows there's something wrong with you as a human being. Oh, uh, a as a human being? I think it's best to listen to what someone has to say before judging them. Am I mistaken? But fine then. I'll listen to her, all right? Thank you very much. Takashima-san gave a quick bow. Wow, go Takashima-san. My maid sure made a good bodyguard. Uh, anyway, put your skirt back on. Understood. Are you two shacking up? Yes. Oh, come on, you don't even know what that word means, do you? Well, it's more like living together. Shacking up, living together, same difference. Big difference. <laughs> well, there is a big difference, actually. Well, I suppose this is what we call a difference of opinion. Why are you so mad, anyway? Isn't that obvious? Well, I wonder why. Huh? Why are you being so rude, just because I live here? I'm not being rude! Oh, okay. Well, in that case, why are you getting so mad over it? Uh, well, how do I put it? How do you put it? Well, well it's because, uh... It's not like I'm a guy. We're both female, so there's no problem, is there? Why are you so upset about it? But because, um... Oh, I've heard of something like this before. People see themselves in others. That's the first step to understanding others. But there are times when it can go too far. They especially think about what they want to do themselves. What they may do themselves. Err. Uh. So, why does Kagami-san not want me to be alone with Yuki-sama? Even though we're both girls. The answer is... Wait, wait! Shh! Th that's not it at all. I, I was just surprised because it was so sudden. It's not like I refused outright without giving her a chance to explain. Actually, that's exactly what she did. Yes, I understand. In addition to being allowed to live here, I intend to do a good job serving her. I, I already know that, but it's still weird, even if you're both girls. And wait, won't your parents be worried too? There's no problem there. My parents aren't around anymore. Uh, oh, um... Well, the way she said it was pretty misleading. It'd be correct to say her parents weren't in the city. But after seeing her dismantle Kagami in a second flat, I decided that maybe it was better to just keep my mouth shut. For the time being, I stood back and watched the scene unfold. I want to at least repay her kindness for saying she'd help me with something I want to accomplish. Something you want to accomplish? Well, she said she's looking for the place in the sky to return the world girl to the sky girl. To return the world girl to the sky girl? Isn't that... Huh? Do you know something about that? It's a popular legend in this town. The girl of the world from the ground and the girl of the air from the sky meet just once every summer in a place where you can see the summer triangle. Wow! It's the first time I've ever heard that. Wait, that sounds a lot like the story of Tanabata. There's supposed to be one night every summer when Orihime and Hikoboshi are allowed to meet. Though, I don't know if it's an old legend or just something someone made up. Maybe it's just a rumor around the city. It's not a rumor. It's something that was decided by the world. You mean, it's a rumor spreading all over the world? I don't think you could call it a rumor at this point. But Tanabata is pretty close to the same thing. It originated in China. And festivals are held in places like Taiwan, Vietnam, and South Korea. But the date was originally determined according to Japan's lunisolar calendar, which would have placed it in August. The sky Takashima-san is looking for is in July, so I get the feeling they're different. 
but Orihime star is the magnitude 0 star Vega in the constellation Lyra. And Hikaboshi star is the magnitude 1 star Altair in the constellation Aquila. That's two out of the three stars in the Summer Triangle. You're right. In that case, we can't say the Tanabata legend is completely unrelated. Maybe it's a local variant of the Tanabata legend. If so, it's understandable that it would still be in July, regardless of the calendar in use. Either way, it's still not on July 7th like Tanabata. Isn't that strange? I'm not sure, but... Either way, you two living together is just wrong! <laughs> or like, just forget about all that, let's get back to the real problem here. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video there, and hopefully we'll continue on with this argument <laughs> in the next video. But that'll be interesting, getting it in more into this legend here. So I think this will be every other day for these videos. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how things go, I'll do more if I can. I've been trying to finish that main project on my main channel because it's just been killing me and I really need a rest after that, but what I can do is record several episodes of this before I take my break. I mean, I just got permission after all, I didn't want to just stop it right after I got permission. And I still had those couple episodes left to finish of uh, Shining Song. So, whatever happens next, I hope to see you all in another video somewhere. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Do really signing out. Bye bye everybody.